What's up guys, King BMO TV here, back for another MTG Foundations draft. I'm pretty excited, draft number two. Uh, check out yesterday's video if you didn't already. That was draft number one. Was it good? I don't know, who knows? All right, first pick, first pack. We have a time stop, it's a fun card, right? So it's six mana, end the turn, right? So there's different ways to do this, right? Um, you could just say go and then their upkeep, you cast time stop and that's it, now it's your turn, right? So it's just a time walk, right? Or you just kind of wait and then they're like, all right, uh, I'll play a creature spell during my main phase. And then the creature spell on the stack, you're just like time stop. And then the spell's like countered, right? It's pretty cool. Is it a first pick card? Maybe, I don't know, it's kind of boring though. I don't know, I'm not I'm not thrilled about it. Um, from what I understand, blue's probably like, maybe the worst color in the set, but who knows, it's the second draft, I don't know anything. So what do I take? I don't know, stab's okay, bite down's okay, but I just, I just drafted green blue yesterday, or I mean yesterday, it was an hour ago. Uh, I'm gonna take bite down again. I'm not thrilled about it. I thought about taking the red, black, uncommon, the signpost uncommon for red, black. But then I'm just like forcing myself into two colors pretty early in the draft. Might be the right choice. Also, my daily quest today is to play black and red spells. So that's kind of like kill two birds with one stone. All right, I'll shut up. Next pick. All right, I have a bite down. Tragic Banshee is good. Five mana, five, three. When it enters, target creature and opponent controls gets minus one, minus one. If a creature died this turn, it gets minus 13, minus 13 instead. I think we'll be taking this one. I think it's really nice. Uh, alternatively, I don't know. I could take a pot the carry stomper, but I think Banshee's the way to go. Early in the draft, when all I have is a bite down, I'm not necessarily green, right? I'm going to keep my options open. Uh, Banshee's really good. I think Banshee is better than Bite Down. So uh, let's take Banshee. Maybe we'll be green blue. Uh, sorry, green black. Pick number three. Uh, we have a Reclamation Sage. I don't know if this is going to be good or not yet. It depends how many um, artifact enchantments are in the set, and I don't really know how many. So we have Jungle Hollow, which is cool, right? Two colors already, dual land, awesome. Uh, fixing is okay in this set so far. I haven't been amazed with it. Uh, Treetop Snare Spinner has been pretty good. I've liked this card. Again, I've only played one draft, guys, so I don't really know everything yet. But uh, but I like Bushwhack a lot. So I'm going to take Bushwhack. Pay one, target creature you control, fight star creature you don't control. That's probably what I'll use the most. But then also, pay one green, search your library for a basic land, reveal it, put it in your hand. So if we want to be... Two colors, three colors, whatever it is. You know, you keep a two lander and then you don't draw a land. Your first two draws, then you need Bushwhack to get a land, right? Uh, so it does a couple different things. I like Bushwhack a lot. All right, next pick here. We have a Dragon Trainer is pretty good. Five mana, one, one. When it enters, create a four, four dragon creature with flying. That's pretty good, especially if you could like bounce it. If you play like uh, run away together, bounce your opponent's creature, bounce Dragon Trainer, play it again. Um, Blanchwood Armor, not really great if we're, unless we're just like super green. Uh, I like Wary Thespian a lot. Two mana, three, one when it enters or dies, surveil one. Uh, I'm probably going to take that. What is Vampire Soul Caller? Five mana, three, two, can't block. When it enters, return to our creature card in the graveyard to your hand. I uh, don't like this. So, Gravedigger is a four mana 2 2 that it, when it enters, raise dead. And this costs one more. It gets plus one plus so and loses flying. Uh, uh, sorry, can't, can't block. I don't think that's worth it. I think we'll take the Thespian here. Uh, Witness Protection is also pretty good, but let's take the Thespian. Nice little green start here. Uh, we have a very blue pack. Brineborn, Cutthroat, 2 mana, 2 and Flash. Whenever you cast a spell during an opponent's turn, put a 1-1 counter on this creature. That's pretty good. Inspiration from behind... From, from beyond. <laughs> Inspiration from behind. Uh, 3 mana, mill 3 cards and return an instant or sorcery card in your graveyard at your hand. That doesn't seem very good. Um, I think we'll take Bushwhack again here. They're also Strongbox Raider. I think this card's good. Not great, but good. Four mana, five, two, when this creature enters, if you attack this turn, exile top two cards your library, choose one. Till the end of your next turn, you can play that card. So kind of like four mana, five, two, raid draw card. 
Seems good. Doesn't seem insane. I'll take another bushwhack. All right, pick number six here. Uh, no bushwhacks this pick. Uh, burnished Heart is cool. Three mana, two, two. Sack it. Search your library for two basic lands. Put them in the battlefield tapped. It's okay, especially if you're ramping, right? Because it, it they put them in the battlefield, not in your hand, right? So it's not draw two. It's ramp two. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Felidar Savior is definitely good, especially if we end up, you know, green, white, bunch, bunch of creatures. Uh, playing this on turn four after playing a two drop and a three drop doesn't get much better than that. Uh, fleeting distraction is cool. I don't really want to play green blue again, and I don't think this is a reason to go into it. Sanguine siphoner is good. Two mana, one three. Whenever this creature attacks, each opponent loses. Uh, I'm running out of time. I'm going to take the burnished heart here. I think it's right. All right, we have two Tolarian terrors in this pack. Tolarian terror is a good card. Uh, it's best if you're blue red. We have quite a few instant or sorceries so far. I just really don't want to play blue green again, if you couldn't tell from how I've been talking, but I think I'm going to take it here. I think there's been a couple of them going around too, so we might table more. Although treetop snare spinner is pretty good. I'll take the terror here. If nobody's blue, I'll be blue again, you know, but I don't really want to. Uh, Beastkin Ranger or Reclamation Sage. Still don't know if this card is going to be good, so let me take the Beastkin Ranger. Three mana, three, three, Trample. Whenever another creature you control enters, this creature gets plus one, plus zero until end of turn. The Performing Artist Tables. I'm glad I did not take it. Three mana, three, two, Death Touch. Raid. At the beginning of your end step, if you attack this turn, each opponent loses three life unless that player sacrifices a non-land permanent of their choice or discards a card. So it's like a stick twister, but instead of um, instead of raid, it was the del delirium, right? So definitely a good card. Do we want it here? I mean, I don't know. It's probably the best card in the pack. I don't really want giant growth. I'm not super excited about these. I'll take the performing artist. Maybe we'll end up uh, Jund, you know. Uh, Apothecary Stomper, I think, is fine. We'll take that. So all I know right now is we are green. Uh, let's take the Jungle Hollow. Good way to splash for Tragic Banshee. Is Tragic Banshee worth splashing? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, I'll take Bloodfell Caves. Yeah, maybe we'll just, you know, we have really good mana base here. These, these cards are not worth definitely playing, so let's take Bloodfell Caves. So now we have a black green land, a black red land, a couple green cards. Maybe we'll end up uh, Jund. Maybe not. Maybe we'll just end up green blue, right? It's still early in the draft. Uh, other than green being open, I don't think there's a great sign. Um, we only saw, we only got one Tolarian Terror after seeing a few. All right, pack two here. We have a Drake Hatcher, two mana, one three, Vigilance Prowess. When this creature deals combat damage to a player, put that many incubation counters on it. Remove three incubation counters from this creature. Create a 2-2 Drake creature token of flying. I mean, yeah, so you could hit them once and make a 2-2 with this if you play two spells. That seems good. Seems good. Uh, is it a reason to definitely play blue? I'm not so sure about that. Mischievous Mystic is good too. I'm going to take Felling Blow here. Three mana, put a 1-1 one, one counter on target creature you control. Then that creature deals damage equal to its power to a target creature an opponent controls. Oh, or should I just take Burst Lightning? All right, I took Failing Blow. Burst Lightning is probably better. I'm just really not sure. We're <coughs> Sorry. I'm just not sure if we're red yet. Um, yeah, we're still a little undecided with this deck. We have the mana base to play Jund, but we don't have a great reason to play Jund just yet. Uh, Garrick's Uprising is cool. Stormkirk... Blood Thief, 3 mana, 2-2 two at the beginning of your end step. If your opponent lost life this turn, put a 1-1 one, one counter on. Target Vampire you control. Doesn't seem great. Goblin Borders, 3 mana, 3-2. Three, raid if it attack this turn. It enters with 1-1 one, one counter. Burglar Rat. I mean, I like Burglar Rat a lot, but... Is Burglar Rat going to be the second black card we take? Or we could take another Talarian Terror. Maybe we should give up on blue, given we passed that rare. Ambush Wolf is okay. I'll take Burglar Rat here. I'm not sure if it's right. 
Uh, what's this guy? Dwenin, Guilt Leaf, Day, and four mana, three, four. Reach other elf creatures you control. Get plus one, plus one. When it attacks, you gain one life for each attacking elf. Elf. Why can't I say elf? Elf Ranger. Another Tolarian Terror. Uh, eaten Alive. Beastkin Ring. I'll try this. I have one other elf. Maybe we'll end up with more. Um, I guess I'm leaning towards green, black. Another Tolarian Terror. Eaten Alive is solid, but best in red, black. Yeah, let's take let's take this uh, elf. All right, we have a Grow from the Ashes. We have an Eager Truffle Snout, Fabloom Trick, Marauding Blight Priest. Uh, I think we'll take the Truffle Snout here. Three mana, four two Trample. When it deals combat damage to a player, create a food token. So this is good. It it gives you that plus uh, four power synergy that I don't think we care about yet. But it is pretty good. It's a pretty good card. Let's take it. Another Felling Blow or an Elf Swarm Giant. Five mana, five, three. When a land enters, create an Elf Warrior creature token. Or another Felling Blow. I think we're a little light on creatures now. Are we, we're just like mono green basically right now. I'll take another Felling Blow, another removal spell. Put a 1-1 one, one counter on your creature, then it fights some, uh, bites something. Snakeskin Veil is good. Dwinnin's Elite is good, especially because we have a Dwinnin here. I like Snakeskin Veil a lot, but let's try to do some Elf stuff. Let's see if that's a thing. Um, I mentioned my previous video. I did a bunch of like mock drafts on Draft Sim. Uh, I didn't end up like tribal at all i didn't i never drafted like a lot of elves or a lot of cats or a lot of goblins it just didn't really happen so i don't want to say it's not supported but it doesn't seem great i don't think i want another apothecary stomper here zombify wouldn't be the worst i'm gonna take zombify i was honestly between zombify and giant growth i don't really want to play giant growth either I am happy to have another Dwinnin's Elite here. Looks like we're kind of doing elf stuff. So two mana, two, two, when it enters, if you control another elf, create a one, one elf warrior creature token. So if we can get another of these Dwinnin's, I'll be very happy. Um, I don't even know what other elf synergies there are. Uh, this is another elf, which is good. Garrick's Uprising. I don't think this will really work for us. If we're like elf stuff, we're not really playing a lot of big creatures. Tragic Banshee's big. And the elephant is big, but I think I'd rather just take another Beastkin Ranger here. As it is an elf. Rogue's Passage? I mean, if we end up like mono green, who cares if we play one colorless land, right? Target creature can't be blocked this turn? That's cool. If you're taking a land, it's like a free playable to your deck, right? Because you don't have to cut another card. You're just cutting a basic land, so... I don't want Campus Guide. I don't want Broken Winds. I'll take Seeker's Folly. This is a card we could play. Target opponent discards two cards, so Mine Rot. Or creatures your opponent's control get minus one, minus one. Could be relevant. I uh, don't want Adventuring Gear. I don't think this card's great. Um, Icewind Elemental, not a card I'm going to play because it's blue. Midnight Snack, I don't think this is great. I'll, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read it a little bit more, though. And last pick, Light Shell Duo. Okay, cool. We got a black rare. Blasphemous Edict. Five mana. Oh, is this a sacrifice 13 creatures? It is. Okay. Five mana. You may play one black rather than pay the spell's mana cost if there are 13 or more creatures on the battlefield. Don't expect that to happen. Each player sacrifices 13 creatures of their choice. So it's in, it's just the wrath. Uh, simple as that. It's really good. Is it good in my elf deck? I'm not so sure, but uh, let's give it a shot. It's definitely really, Wraths are good, right? No matter what deck I'm playing, I'm going to play Wrath. Uh, this Horn Beetle is pretty cool. I had this in my previous deck. Bite Down is pretty good as well. Um, now that I say that, we should kind of review our removal. I think we're pretty good because we have the Bushwhacks. Yeah, we have two Fallen Blows. We're pretty good on removal. Uh, we could take another Beast King Ranger, but I think I'd rather have another Tragic Banshee. Uh, opposed to eating alive or fake your death. 
What is the Curator of Destiny? Six mana, five, five, can't be countered. Flying, when this creature enters, look at the top five cards of your library, separate it in the face down pile and a face up pile. Okay, so like a fact or fiction type thing. Okay, yeah, this card's fine. Uh, not a card we need to jump into bed with. We'll take another Tragic Banshee. We got another Drake Hatcher. That's cool. Uh, Elvish Regrower. That sounds like an elf. Four mana, four, three. When this creature enters, return target permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. Don't mind if I do. This card's excellent. I talked about Grave Diggers for four mana, two, two. When it enters like Raise Dead, this is a four mana, four, three, and return a permanent card. So this card's a million times better than um, Grave Digger. A little bit harder to cast, but it's also an elf, which is good for us. I still have a dream of getting another one of these Dwinnen cards or some other tribal benefit. Elf Sworn Giant or Tragic Banshee. I'll take another Tragic Banshee. How's our curve doing? I think our curve's just fine. Uh, another Llanowar Elf would be pretty cool, or a Llanowar Elf. I don't have any Llanowar Elves. Got another Blasphemous Act. Okay. Sure, I'll play two. I'm not sure if that's right. It's probably not. Soul Shackled Zombie. Uh, we have three four drops already. We have a million three drops. You guys are going to hear me talk about how I don't like three drops because there's always so many three drops. You want to make sure you have plenty of twos because, like, we can't play all these four drops. It, uh, three drops. It's just it, it's not it's not good. We'll take the Beastkin Ranger here because I I'm not going to play any of these other cards. Okay, we have a Treetop Snare Spinner. That's good. It'll also help us against Flyers. I don't think we're super prepared for Flyers in our deck. Uh, Creep Feaster, 4 mana, 3, 4. When this creature attacks, there's, if you have Threshold, it gets plus 2 plus 0. Oh. I think this card's pretty good. It's a nice body. I think usually the bodies on these cards are a little bit worse. But we'll take the Snare Spinner. Oh my god. Rise of the Dark Realms, 9 mana. Put all creature cards from all graveyards into the battlefield under your control. This is, it's too expensive. I, I don't think this card is possibly, like, to actually cast it, I think it's pretty much impossible. Um, but we do have two blas Blasphemous Edicts, so let's take it. I probably won't play it. Uh, Gutless Plunderer is pretty cool, but we'll take this Horn Beetle, because it's a two-drop with upside. Um, again, another Beastkin Ranger, probably not going to play that. I don't think we're going to play Soul Shackled Zombie. Uh, we're not playing any of these. All right, man. This is uh, this is our deck. I got to make a ton of cuts, obviously. But um, yeah, it looks fun. Different than our other deck. I like the elves synergies. I hope we draw that Dwinnen card early and often. And how many crazy black spells are we going to cast? We'll see. All right, here. Let's see. 45. So we'll have to cut four cards. Or five cards if we want to play this. Because nine is so much mana. I can't play this card. <laughs> it's just too much, right? Uh, I don't know. It's, it's expensive. Like, if we're just like, all right, we'll cast Blast, Blasphemous, Bla, Blasphemous Edict uh, twice in Rise of the Dark Realms every game, then, yeah, we'll probably win. But games are going to take a long time, that's for sure. Uh, all right, we're not going to play Midnight Snack. Uh, I This card's not good. Okay. At the beginning of your end step, if you attack this turn, create a food token. So you could get, like, a bunch of food tokens. And then pay three, sack this, target opponent loses X life or X the amount of life you gain this turn. I mean, in some crazy, weird scenario, you could say this is a win condition, right? So you just like get food, five food tokens, and then you're just like, all right, not five, I guess. If it's four, you get four, you pay eight, gain uh, 12 life, and then pay another three. That's so much mana. It's, just, it's ridiculous. But yes, it's going to go. I think Seeker's Folly can also go. Removal, Bushwhack, Bite Down, Felling Blow. 
and Wraths. I wish we had more Elves. Like, the Winnin's Elite, if we play it on turn two, we're never going to create an Elf. If we play it later, we probably will. And I don't think we drafted any equipment to make, like, 1-1s one -ones relevant. We didn't. So 1-1s one -ones won't really help us. Right? I should probably cut these. I feel like I should kind of give up on the elf thing, but I don't really want to. But I should. Hmm. So for our horn beetle, we have an elephant, three banshees, and a regrower. That's an okay amount. Five. Burnished Heart will definitely be cut unless we play Rise of the Dark Realms. Uh, should I just embrace the ridiculousness and play all these cards? I feel like I should. I'll have to cut a decent amount of cards, though. I guess I don't need removal as much, right, if I have these. Like, I can cut a Felling Blow. This deck is going to be ridiculous. Three ban... I feel like playing this many Banshees is okay. I'll cut a Bushwhack. I'm going to do it, guys. I'm going to play all these dumb cards. I'm going to have an insane deck. And we'll cut a Beastkin Ranger. So we have a lot of creatures. We have 16 creatures. We have six elves. Six elves. So, I mean, we're not going to go crazy with the elf stuff, but we'll see how it works. And if we win our games like this, it's going to be a lot of fun. But they might take a while. So hopefully this video is like two and a half hours long and you guys are like, wow, he did it. But if you look at this video and it's 40 minutes long, I should try to have less fun and try to focus on winning more. 14 and 8. Uh, we should probably play another, another forest, I think. Do we want Rogue's Passage? Maybe this can be like an alternative win condition here. I think it's okay. I think we could afford to play it. I wish we had another land war elf, but uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try this out. I don't think it's great, but we're gonna try it out. All right, guys, I'm scared about these games. I think if we cast the uh, nine drop like once, rise of the dark realms would be good. It's in our opening hand, huh? And the rogues passage is here, just laughing at me for not playing more swamps. Uh, I'm going to keep it. It's risky, but I'll keep it. Oh, perfect. We're good. We're fine. We just have to be able to sack this. Sack this, win the game. Vampire Gourmand. Two mana, two, two. When this creature attacks, you may sacrifice another creature. If you do, draw a card, and this creature can't be blocked this turn. Perfect. Are they going to sack the Helpful Hunter? They are going to sack it. So they draw another card. Uh, it's probably a good idea to kill that Gourmand. But I'm going to let him have it. And I'm going to hope he returns the favor by not killing our Burnished Heart here. Infestation Sage. All right, so they kill that. They get a token. They draw a card. Great value over there. Gleaming Barrier. All right. We somehow draw another forest. This is instant speed, right? Okay, cool. So we will just pass. Pass. 
I imagine they'll attack with the Gourmand again. Maybe sack the 1-1 one, one token. Unless they really want the treasure here with Gleaming Barrier. Looks like they might. No. Okay. They've drawn four more cards than us this game. It's okay, man. This long game should be good for us, right? We're going to have six mana next turn. Juggernaut. Okay. Seven mana, just like that. Uh, we can play Bite down into Banshee. Kill Juggernaut. Kill Juggernaut. Beetle gets bigger. Alright, look at that. We're doing great. Banishing Light on our Banshee. Okay, this would be one of those situations in which Reclamation Sage is good. Alright, let's play Burglar Rat. Discards a creature. Alright, let's play Thespian. Uh, I don't think I want that, right? <laughs> I don't know. Uh... I mean, I feel like if I play this, I just win right now. Like, already. Alright, we'll keep it. Whatever. So we have seven mana. We'll have eight mana next turn. I can't, maybe I should leave a land in my hand in case they, like, if they cast Rav Rats on us. Like Burglar Rat. Cat Collector. This card's good. Enters, make a food token. Whenever you gain life for the first time during each of your turns, create a 1-1 cat. So they get a cat. All right. There could be a land on top, right? We have eight lands if we play this. They take three. All right, top deck of land. We can play Rise of the Dark, Dark Realm. We get Burnished Heart, a 3-2, Juggernaut, Gourmand, Helpful Hunter, Infestation Stage. It's pretty good. Probably just to swing out with everything too. If, if there's a land on top. Soul Caller, Raise Dead, that's not good. That's one less creature for my undead army. Zombify, I can get back Burnished Heart. Uh, you know what? That might be worth... Yeah, then I can cast Rise of the Dark Realms next turn. All right, go. Please don't play Burglar Rat. Please don't play Burglar Rat. Please don't play Burglar Rat. Take three. Sure. What if I top deck the Wrath? Midnight Snack. Okay, they're playing this card. Gourmand. I kind of want to cast the Wrath first, right? Okay, gaining life, making cats. Okay. We get back a 3-2 Juggernaut Infestation Sage Helpful Hunter. And 
Beetle will get a counter. I'll draw a card. All right, <laughs> let's do it. Classic. Right on, I can cast it now. Uh, right on top. Okay. Hey, that's pretty cool, right? Uh, we get a counter on our beetle. Do we attack with it? I mean... Okay, we have 19 more cards in our deck, so we're not really going to deck just yet. Ooh, Elf. Elf Lord. We have a couple. We got a couple Elves. So we either win this game or we deck, right? <laughs> no in between. I mean, if they didn't have the Soul Caller, then I'd probably wait. But, like, I can't just take three every turn, you know? Yeah, I might just have to cast Blasphemous, Blasphemous Act here. I'm pretty low on health. Like, I could play this for, is it one? 13 creatures? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, there's 13. I'm just swing out with everything. Yeah, let it rip, man. Tell me you have wrath without telling me you have wrath. Okay, uh, they didn't block very aggressively. I don't know if we'll have 13 creatures after this. I don't feel like counting right now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Stab, okay. Okay, they have five, we have six, so that's 11. We'll have five mana after we cast this. We do this first. We won't be able to play anything post wrath. Kind of get rid of a lot of lands in our deck, though. All right, let's do it. What a crazy game. Yeah, just having two mana up here is a bummer. Oh, I forgot I have one creature in play. Look at me. Come on. I got this. I got this. They're dead in 14 turns. Well, I'm not going to cast it again, okay? But we're dead in two turns now, so that sucks. Unless we draw a removal spell. I guess we can block the 3 4 2, right? All 
right, so let's hope there's a creature on top. And even better, a removal spell on top. We have a bushwhack, a felling blow. Oh, this is reach. Oh, look at that. News to me. We have two tragic banshees. Imagine if they cast wrath now. We we'll probably lose if they cast wrath, right? There's still 15 cards left. I think they ma they made a mistake. Unless they're gonna kill our 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 Dren card, it's probably worth killing now. Oh no, we lose life, right? Oh my God, they're killing us with midnight snack. Oh boo. Yeah, that sucks. Oh, okay. Well, that was fun. I mean, again, we didn't think this deck would be good, but we thought it would be fun. So so far, we're 1-0 for having fun, so that's what matters. All right, so we're 1-0 and having fun, 0-1 and winning. <laughs> it's great when you have your 9-drop in your opening hand, right? But, I mean, I guess it's good Blasphemous Act, act is here, right? Okay, they play a 1-3, I play a 3-1. Sanguine Siphoner. Two mana, I'll keep that one. Two mana, 1-3. When this creature attacks, each opponent loses one life, you gain one life. Inspiring Paladin. During your turn, this creature is first strike. During your turn, creatures you control 1-1 one, one counters have first strike. I think a uh, Felling Blow attack here sounds good. Now we have four power, so if we draw our beetle, it could start getting bigger. We could play our snare spinner next turn. That was a weird turn. Okay, so we're not gonna cast Wrath next turn, at least it doesn't look like it. Felidar Savior. That does not help. All right, let's cast Bite Down. Do we cast Bite Down? Uh, if we attack with the 4 2, they'll block probably with the 2 4, but. If we bite down the 2-4 with our 4-2 or with the snare spinner, they can just block with the savior. That leaves us with the spider and nothing else. I think we'll just pass. Given we have Blasphemous, Blasphemous Edict in our hand and Rise of the Dark Realms, we can kind of, you know, chill for a bit. Whenever this creature attacks, creatures you control get plus one, plus one until end of turn. Not going to cast Bite Down again. They can't really do anything. What are they doing? I am very surprised. What are you doing, buddy? Oh, that's bizarre. I don't, I don't know what this guy's thinking. All right, I guess we'll I guess we'll kill their veteran. Oh, I didn't mean to attack with the snare spinner. It's okay. Yeah, I was a mistake attacking with the snare spinner. Banishing light. All right, fine. So they should be at 12 and I should be at 15. If I didn't play bad. Uh, counter, counter, go. Do 
Don't have any permanents in my yard, so the regrower doesn't do anything. Soul Shackled Zombie. Okay. Decent amount of graveyard hate. Tragic Banshee. All right. Um, I'd like to play this and get some value from it, but right now, it's, uh, just make it big again. We'll just make it a 13, 16, and attack them for, with Rogue's Passage. This is probably a little sus on our side. We have six mana and five cards in our hand, and we're just making our creature bigger. And they're black-white, so all their removal probably does, doesn't matter that it's a 5-8. Okay, we might be getting close to Blasphemous Edict zone here. Seven mana. Maybe I can bait them into playing one more creature. We don't want to be low enough where, like, if they happen to get past our 6-9, that they don't kill us. All right, they're doing it. That's it? You got another creature or something? Uh, Alright, we have eight mana. We're one away from Rise of the Dark, Dark Realms. I think we'll cast it now. Cast the Edict. Hopefully they play an X one. Oh my God, what is that? Are you serious? Probably still fine, right? Two other creatures. This is tough. So they can't lose the game and I cannot win the game until this dies. So I have a tragic banshee which can kill that but something needs to die first. So we just, we have to block here. Okay, now what? Sure. I'm just gonna attack with the ones that give me life. I think they'll probably block. Otherwise we regrow the snare spinner. Okay. <laughs> what crazy, crazy games, man. I'll take it. All right. Zay Bur Z Burton. Z Burton. All right. Hand looks really good, actually. 
It's like the best hand I've had ever in foundations. Turn two horn beetle, turn three truffle snout, horn beetle gets bitter, and we're on the play. Nutty hand. Classic. We we have to draw our nine drop, right? I mean, we've been casting it pretty easy. Oh, there's the two best friends together there. No essence scatter. Don't play essence scatter. Don't play essence scatter, bro. The burst lightning. The burst lightning. Were you just reading all my cards? Is it your first draft? Okay. Burst lightning. Okay, feeling pretty good. That's good for us. Think twice. No, nothing. All right, so we don't draw land. We play Beastkin Ranger next turn. If Horn Beetle gets one more counter, then he counts himself. Oh, no, he doesn't. I thought he counted himself. Okay. I mean, he shouldn't count himself, like, flavor-wise. Because he's, like, feeding off of that thing. Okay. Let's bash. Okay, we get a treasure. They take seven. That's so much damage. Oh, it's food. Why did I think it was a treasure? We could have played Beastkin Ranger, and then, like, next turn we play Burnished Heart or... Doing and then this becomes a four three which then pumps the horn beetle that might have been better, but Wizard Is this guy just in full control? Is he, is he going to play the minus one minus O card right now to draw a card? I think he is. Come on, Burden. My game's going to take long enough here. What a dumb play. I think it's a dumb play. Like he, yeah, whatever. I don't, I don't care. Whatever, whatever he wants. All right, let's attack with my four four. Pass. The land's coming to play tap, so there's no value in doing it now. <clears throat> Next turn, we'll have five mana. So maybe just the Beastkin Ranger. And then next turn, we could do... Eh, we'll see, I guess. I'd like to get this thing out there sooner. So yeah, no, it's definitely this into the Duin's Elite, and then we'll have play three creatures in one turn. This will get really big unnecessarily, and the next turn we play this Dwinin, Dwinin. Fire, why haven't I seen this card before? Three mana, two, two, flying. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell or dragon spell, there's one damage to each opponent. Okay, does not, does not matter. Looks like our opponent is white too. Can this guy just tap out already? Okay, we've got a green and a black. Wouldn't mind drawing a uh, bite down or something. Okay. Six mana. Beetle becomes a 5-5. Five, five. Can't really attack very successfully. Mm, 
But next turn, it'll also have five power. So the Horn Beetle will get pumped up. And we'll play Dwinin. Dwinin? Dwinin. It's probably Dwinin. Pre combat? Okay. All right, fine. Discarded a Tranquil Cove to draw two cards with Thrill of Possibility. They still have a lot of cards in their hand. I feel like I'm pretty far ahead given my board and my hand, but I feel like our, our hand, or the Rise of the Dark Realms and Blasphemous Edict are not the best cards against this deck. Although I guess even if I played it now, I'd get a 2-1, a 4-2 Trample, and the Burnished Heart, so... Like, if they tap out it and play it like a 6-6 six, six flyer right now, I'd... Like, I'd still be fine, you know? I'd probably just play Blasphemous Edict, but... Oh my god, this guy takes forever. Play faster. But I shouldn't complain, it's a new set, right? So... Okay, so they're just uh, doing the cantrip thing again. Come on, you gonna attack? Attack with a two-one. So we have six mana, so we're still three away from Rise of the Dark Realms. Solemn Simulacrum. Four mana, two, two. When it comes into play, you may search your library for a basic land card. Put that card in the battlefield tapped, then shuffle. When it dies, you may draw a card. Triggers. All right, we're just swinging out now, guys. Plenty of health. <clears throat> Got a 5-4 trample. Probably block that with a 5-6. And then they take 5 and they go to 2. No, they block it. Okay. Cool. So they take 3. They'll draw a card. They still have their big old wizard. I don't think we need our food for anything in this game. Any synergies with the food, gaining life, sacrificing a token, anything like that? Looks like a no. Can they just like play four creatures this turn? I paused the video because the guy was taking so long. Crackling Cyclops. Okay, he just played Crackling Cyclops and passed. Five mana up, three cards in their hand. I will sack the food. Three mana, 04. When you cast a non creature spell, it gets plus three plus O until end of turn. Uh, Banshee's good. I'm just going to swing out again. So we gain two life, go to 24. Uncharted Voyage. Uh, I wish it was uh, Surveil, right? Put it right in the yard. Um, does the beetle help us? I don't think so. It's a bummer. They're probably not going to kill anything. 
So our tragic banshee won't be able to kill the 5-6. Okay, no, duh, of course they're gonna kill it. Okay, so now we'll be able to kill the wizard. We have seven mana, so still two lands from Rise of the Dark Realms. Balmor, Battle Mage Captain, 2 mana, 1 3 flying. When you cast an instant or sorcery spell, creatures you control get plus 1 plus 0 and gain trample till end of turn. That's a good one. We haven't seen a white card yet. They could have the blue white rare, the bird rare that. Oh my god, what are they doing? What is this guy doing? Are they going to do a big attack? I take eight. Do I trade with the Cyclops? I'll take it. Bushwhack is good. Okay. So if they try to pull nonsense like that again, we can bushwhack, kill their untapped creature, and kill them. So that's our first, the first white card. Oh, I know Kellen's really good, but I don't know if it's actually good and limited. Uh, one mana, two, one, pay two. If it's a scout, becomes some other stuff. Um, human detective. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, exit the top card of your library. You may play the card this turn. Pay three. If it's a detective, becomes a three, two double strike. No attacks at all, huh? Seven lands in play. If the card in their hand is not a non-creature spell, let's let's see how quickly this. Uh, yeah, let's just do this. Let's see how quickly this resolves, and I'll fight Kellen with this. All right, so they have something, or they're in full control. Um, I'm gonna assume they don't have something. Oh. Well, now that I just... <laughs> they have that. Okay, that was silly on my part, right? All right, that's okay. All right. <clears throat> that was a misplay on my part. This guy's lulling me to sleep. Another Balmor. Oh, it's an uncommon. Just holding back two creatures. Cool. All right, we have eight. So next turn, if we draw a land, Rise of the Dark Realms... Banshee's really good, but I guess it's better in the yard, right? Let's hope they didn't just draw a draw spell. Unblock. If I can block the 2 3, I'm totally blocking it. Because I want to land. Yeah, do it. Attack. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, see, there are four. They have to play so conservatively, right? Can we just have a land on top? All right. All right, do we just win? Uh, do we have anything that gives haste? I know I don't, but... Uh, I guess we attack first. Maybe we can get another creature in the yard. He 
This game is taking so long. Thanks for watching, guys, really. And if you haven't liked already, please like the video. Appreciate it. Leave a comment. Let me know how you're doing. Perfect. Rat goes in there. Rise of the Dark, dark Realms. They have to discard a card. Oh my god, look at this. Their creature gets minus 26, minus 26 till end of turn. How big is this thing? It's a 21 4. They threaten in their hand. Okay. Okay, finally, this guy is done. And I'm sorry for complaining that they take these take until. Oh my god, minus 39. That's probably the most I've done in limited. Fun game. Alrighty. Game at number four. Uh, we got a mulligan this one, unfortunately. But this one will keep. What do we cut here? I think I'll cut the Dwinnin's Elite here, given we don't have another elf. Don't need to keep just a 2 2 bear. I like having the removal for Bushwhack. They may have a Bushwhack of their own. If you see, we kind of went through phases a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, they may have a bushwhack of their own. This card's really good. Uh, two mana, two, two prowess. Pay one, sack this creature. Deals damage equal to its power to target creature or planeswalker. Uh, I don't... Th if they play bushwhack, they'll be able to kill Beastkin Ranger. Let's... Uh, let's just do this. Didn't expect that block. I'm totally fine with it. We could bushwhack whatever they play here. They don't play anything here. Okay, cool. We draw a Dwinnin. I wish I didn't get rid of that elf now, man. We got the elf draw. They take five here. It's pretty awesome. We have a land on the top with Banshee. would be great. Ooh. Yeah, uh, this is tricky, right? Probably just bushwhack. Uh, I, no, sorry. If we bushwhack, we kill it. So, I really think they have bushwhack. Uh, we could play Banshee, make that a 3-3 three, three, and attack for 7, put them to 8. Actually, we attack them for eight, put them to seven. Because we bushwhack, it's a fight, right? So we'd have to trade with the Animist. And then, like, that's all we're doing this turn. I don't love this. They're at seven. We have a removal spell. If we could draw something relevant here, it would be awesome. Hopefully we don't lose like two of our creatures this turn. All right, there's the bushwhack that we were very suspicious of them having. The top decking, anything that costs four or less. All right. I think I just attack with both here with Banshee up. I, I know they have something else, but they're going to know we have something else too. I'm f 
I know they have something else. I just don't know what they have. We play Banshee here. We have a 5-3. They're at 4. I'm just going to pass. Could totally be wrong, but I'm doing it. They just, they have so much mana. Okay. I mean, this is not exactly what I want to be doing now, but I regret not playing it before. Because if they have nothing in their hand, then we could have killed them this turn, right? So we don't want to draw our Wrath or our Rise of Dark Realms. Okay. Burglar rats, not very exciting. Um, all right, we'll keep it, I guess. Keeping a land in my hand because I don't have the nine drop. I can cast everything else, and if they have a burglar rat, we'd still survive. All right, that's a bummer. All right, well, we're discarding the last card in their hand, so that could be nice. Okay, that, that's pretty good. Let's hope it's not another land on top. We take six. Oh, okay. I mean, we did not want that. We, that's like... just. A complete miss, unfortunately, but when you play with powerful cards that cost nine, that's going to happen sometimes. Okay, Zombify Banshee. They saw me look at my graveyard, so I'm looking at their graveyard. Zombify Banshee's probably the move here, and then kill the 2-2. Two -two. We could also just like bushwhack one of these which would just kill the rat and then play zombify and then we can kill the goblin borders it seems stupid much higher chance of getting blown out that way i i don't think they're in full control here Okay. All right, we need something good here. Yeah, like we could go to one. We'd have to top deck Apothecary Stomper to win. That's one card. I think blocking here is just better Ugh. all right I mean this isn't bad 
we get a horn beetle, we'll have a 3-3. Three, three. If we get Thespian... Uh, yeah, let's get the Thespian here. All right, let's hope we're not dead here. They can't attack with a 3-4. Yeah, attacking is kind of weird for them. They'd have to attack with the 2-2 two -two and the 3-1. Uh, sorry, the 2-2 two -two and the 4-3. To, to have me make a bad block. All right, more creatures. That's good, right? That'll trigger um, Morbid for them again. So they can gain two life or gain one life and draw a card. Kind of hoping we just draw Wrath. Okay, they're attacking. They're doing the things. I don't think they're going to do this. Because I put the 4-3 on the 2-2. Two -two. We'll go to 2 this way. We get a Surveil. Yeah, all right, let's do this. Let's hope we get something good on top. I mean, honestly, gaining one life isn't the worst. Um, but they're going to draw... We have to get rid of it. We need something better than that. Gaining one life, we go to three, we can block the three, four, then they only attack us for two. We go to one. But then what? No, that's better. Um, We could attack here. They just block and sack, and then we're dead to a removal spell. Or if we don't attack, we're dead to a removal spell, right? All right, so they have um, one. Yeah, they have two cards. Do so they have the removal spell? Simple as that. That's not a removal spell. All right. Wow. They have a lot of lands in play, which means they're going to draw more non-land cards before us. We essentially have eight in play. They have nine. All right, that's not that big of a difference. I mean, we don't have a choice. I'm going to attack with both. Maybe I can get in for one damage. There we go. All right, so let's just hope uh, we both draw three lands in a row and we play Rise of the Dark Realms and win. Oh, 2-2. Two, two. Close game. Oh, super close game. This rise of the dark, drawing the rise of the dark realms killed me. Um, yeah, I think we played right. Um, the banshees. We just didn't get a lot of value out of the banshees. That was kind of a wasted opportunity. Like we played tragic banshee three times and we killed zero creatures with them. I maybe I could I, I could have played them differently for sure. I don't know if it would have been better. Yeah, I guess I I could have maybe I should have gotten less aggressive given you know we have the powerful cards that we have. I should have played a little bit more conservatively with the banshee. But then there was also the the one turn where I didn't play the banshee and I could have played the banshee. Uh, they did have a braid. They played like a turn or two later. So I don't think. That was a mistake. Um, 
tough game though. Those games like that, I really try to rethink all my decisions. Like, not necessarily rethink, but you know, analyze the decisions. So, let's keep playing games. Yeah, I'm going with I should have played more conservatively, got more value out of my five three, just because my deck is stupid and has two wraths and a nine drop. Um, we'll keep this one. Playing Andre Baluba. All right, we'll play the elf. I don't think we have enough elves where we're just like, oh, we can't play this unless we're getting the extra value. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess we attack here, right? We're not gonna block because they can easily two for one us, right? So you gotta think about that when you're deciding your attackers. Like, am I gonna block? If you're not gonna block and you could attack, and get through, then attack. Axe Guard Cavalry, 2 mana, 2-2. Two, two. Tap it. Tap it, target creature gains haste till end of turn. Oh, look at us, doing the elf stuff. All right, let's attack again. Again, maybe we're playing too aggressive, right? We're playing a red-green deck. We know how our deck works. Oh, are they going to burst lightning our elite? That works too. That's fine. I'm totally fine with that. You guys see my hand? That's okay with me. God, imagine if we draw the Elf Lord, Dwinnin or whatever. Give the 4-3 haste attack. Seems good. We are somehow at 14. Um, here we are with the Banshee again. I'm not playing Wrath. Elvish Regrower seems suboptimal, but I'll play the Regrower. That's fine. We're both kind of doing the same thing. Uh, I'm going to stop trading with them. Again, I'm going off the principle that our deck should win the long game. Is that true? We don't know. I don't know what's in their deck. They might have a Chandra and a Nyssa. Battle Song, Berserker, 4 mana, 3, 4. Whenever you attack, target creature you control gains plus 1 plus 0 and gains Menace. So if they attack with a 4-3 here, now it's, it's a 5-3 Menace, so I'd have to double block. That trade's not really worth it. All right, I think I attack with the 4-3 here. I'm going to attack with the 4-3 here and see what they do. If they trade with the 3-4, which they probably won't. All right. Uh, I think I'll just play Edict here. Given we have another one, right? Haste creature too, man? Come on. So even if we cast Wrath here, um, they could sack it and do two to us, putting us to... Oh, it's creature or planeswalker. Okay, never mind. All right, let's do it again. Haste creature is beating. Six six, huh? Ooh, we have seven mana. We're getting there. Uh, yeah. I guess we just play Banshee. Pass. Banshee's not as good in our deck as I would like it to be. 
Like, we could attack, hope they block, and then kill their creature, but they're not going to block, right? Because if they have, like, because we're dead on board. Uh, so, unfortunately, this is all we could do. Banshee's probably best if you have a lot of sack outlets, which we have none of. So, if they have nothing, we survive two turns, draw two lands, play Rise of the Dark Realms, and win. But it's very hard to cast this card without uh, Burnished Heart. If I double block here, I almost definitely get two for one. Just chump. All right, so that resolved right away, which means they don't have it instant, right? I block, boom, next phase, done. So I don't think they were quickly passing. I think they don't have it instant. So that's good to know. I hope we draw a burnish chart. That would be ideal. Uh, Beetle's not bad. But it's not going to help me win. <sighs> Damn. Okay, so they didn't have an instant, so we wouldn't have got two for one last turn. Could have drawn one. I think we just have to make both blocks, but I don't think we can win against the 6-6. Six, six. Yeah, I like we're almost a hundred percent dead, I think. Treetop snare spinner would be okay, but like we still need to somehow get nine lands. Damn. Okay. That stinks. That's a bummer. Started off two one two. I thought we'd do a little bit better. Um Yeah, I mean I'm gonna just say we did have fun. Right? We played two Blasphemous Edicts, two Rise of the Dark Realms. The Tragic Banshee was disappointing. Um, I think maybe in hindsight... I mean, I could have built this deck a few different ways, right? We could have cut, like, the two Edicts, the Rise of the Dark Realm, and the Burnish Chart. That's four cards. Add in a Bushwhack, a Beastkin Raider, a Felling Blow. That's three, but, you know... Maybe we cut, uh, no, probably don't cut two Blasphemous Edicts, right? We cut Rise of the Dark Realms. We cut um, a Banshee and Burnished Heart. Maybe cut those three. And then play Bushwhack, Beastkin Ranger, and Failing Blow. I think our deck's probably better off then. Uh, we definitely could have used just like a regular removal spell, like a murder type card, Hero's Downfall, something like that. Opposed to just the bushwhack bite down green removal pack uh, package and a bunch of uh, wraths. So, um, yeah, I cast rise of the dark realms three times. I'm happy. I'm not gonna lose sleep over it. I uh, hope you guys like the video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching, as always, and I'll catch you in tomorrow's video.